Sunday, 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 Gene Media, 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 Cody's Basement. Bring your own gear and beer, cause Wild Paw's kicking down the door. Hi, this is Brother Paul with the Gene Media Podcast, and this is with me, as always, Garth, Cody. Garth Cody. <laughs> that sounds like a sip. <laughs> it does. Garth Cody, yeah. Yeah, uh, I don't know if that's a reference to Garth Brooks or to oh, no, um, it was Darth doing the, Vader. No, no, in the Wayne's world, they're like, and with him is always Garth, because you, you oh. always do the intro, and I did the intro, and I, I panicked. And then it became Garth Vader. Yeah, so the topic about today, after the um, whatever, apparently you're supposed to do a call to action, so we're going to call you guys out to um, join our, I don't know, t- hit like on the video, I guess. I'm going to talk to us. Send Jeez. us a message. Anything. Uh, do do what you like. It's a it's a free free country, free free world. It's kind of kind of not really. Yeah, well, we can get into that another day. We were talking about uh, gas prices. No, 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 no. Stay focused. Yeah, we're talking about um, open calls and options for musicians. The first little uh, note I have, I, I'm reading off my notes here, um, but about how kind of you know musicians are so introverted and. Most of the time, I mean, you get you get various levels of various people, like Paul, who's definitely not introverted. But um, you could say, um, you know, so like you know, it's hard for musicians to to find other musicians. And where are we going with this, Paul? Well, that was because like I, I work uh, weekends and graveyards, so pretty much Friday till Monday I'm gone, which is prime basically the prime time for meeting musicians. So I was looking, I'm looking now to play in another band or play with other people, maybe not a band, maybe just collaborations, but how would I go about using the wondrous tool that is the internet for something besides looking at cat and thing on Amazons, cats and Amazon. Cat. And, Amazons. And, 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 Amazons, Amazons on cats. Amazons on cats. Amazon cats. How would I go about using this wondrous innovation to find players to play with and local ones? Because I know they're out there and I know they're all there, they, especially the introvert one. They, they, I'm under the rocks. They want to play, but they want you to come get them. Every A lot of musicians I meet are like, you know what? I'll be awesome. I'll release one grainy YouTube video and the label will sign me. What label? The label. The label. The, the Campbell's yeah. label. The yeah. biggest label there is. Yeah. Uh, so how would I use this wondrous tool of innovation to find people? So Cody yeah. had mentioned, you know, Kijiji, yeah. Craigslist, yeah, Facebook. Yeah, we Twitter. were talking about. Yeah, I like I like the way that you had phrased it in the past. It's like you you're putting out the open call, right? Yeah, the open call, like calling all musicians or calling calling these musicians that we need. And uh, there's yeah, there's I, we we kind of sat to, sat down and brainstormed a couple of ways to do that while we we're outside pacing around. And uh, yeah, was, there are a couple of avenues like the internet way. And the uh, yeah the online classifieds way or flyers and posters the old old school way you maybe you're just putting out flyers on the on the wall we should break these down a little bit more specifically but the other way is direct outreach you mean you meet somebody in the supermarket you take their number and you physically call them I, I met Tanner at the liquor store I was buying a bunch of beer to go I was going to my brother's and he's like wow you you got a lot of beer for one guy and I was like I need it man I'm a musician and I was just joking he's like me too. And I was like, oh, and he's like, I'm looking for someone to play with. Can you write your number down? And on my receipt, he wrote his number down. And he probably thought I was never going to call. I got home and called him that night. And that's like, that is how the bandits of time started. Yeah. So you never know when someone's just going to be like, you know what? I play bass. I could use a bass player. Yeah. That would be super helpful. Yeah. And with that way, it, I mean, it starts out with, you got to say, hey, I'm a musician. I'm doing these things. Because if, yeah, if you don't know, you don't know. Even right? though it's, nobody's gonna, nobody's a mind reader, and nobody's gonna read your mind and say, "Oh, that guy, look at, look at that guy. He must be a musician." That's why and, I have long oh, hair. Oh, I hope, so. I, I hope that, I hope that guy who must be a musician contacts me, even though they don't know my number, they don't even know my name. Yeah, that's because even jam nights, which are usually in the week, you can pick people up. But if you, a lot of guys, they'll sit there. How many times have you been to a jam night and somebody will be sitting there, not interacting, not playing? You sit down, you're like, oh, it's a pretty good band. They're like, yeah, it's all right. But I think they should do this. And they'll give like a really wise criticism. And you're like, oh, that sounds like you play guitar. Oh, yeah, I've been playing 12 years. I'm looking for a band. Yeah, so but I, I won't say anything to anyone because yeah, so, you'll come find me so, after yeah, you read so my why, mind. Why aren't, why aren't you up there jamming? You're just sitting there waiting for somebody to be like, oh, you should come up here and play. And if you're at a 
if it's an open jam night or open mic or whatever, you probably most of the time somebody will, but it's, you know, you got to be a little bit outgoing about it. Yeah. Uh, if I, if, personally if you're in this area and i even get the slightest inclination that you are a musician i will come and bother you but i don't live everywhere yeah so i'm working on it but yes that's a lot um, of paperwork yeah yeah exactly there's a lot of red tape involved uh this is that's why we're talking about this paul is looking for musicians always contact paul you can leave a comment below through cody i don't have any internet i didn't have internet for a while i have internet now i will make uh, the facebook page um, something like dedicated to fat cats of the world. Yeah, you can just say, you can just visit visit the link down below, visit our webpage, fill out the form, and put it attention, Paul. Music. That's even better. Yeah, exactly. It's there. It's linked down below. If you're watching this on YouTube, if it's on Facebook, it might be a little more clicking around. Yeah, or whatever, wherever this video happens to turn up in your feeds. Find gmediacreativestudio.com/contact. Yeah. There we go. That sounds right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, awesome. we, we mentioned in like a previous video about online classifieds and just ban bantering around the idea. I've definitely like when I used to live in Vancouver, Craigslist for musicians was an awesome place to like find used gear, find a band, that kind of thing. And yeah, you just go in there and read what's available. And but yeah, maybe you want to be the guy like you're looking for you're looking for a band. Maybe you just just make that post and you know say say what you want, what you're what you have to offer and what you you know what you're looking for what you're willing to commit all those things that we mentioned uh in the previous videos yeah because the the interior classifieds they they're a little different like i, I imagine well, the musician craigslist is pretty good in vancouver yeah they're structured the same but they're less active but they you know it exists it's worth a try wanted uh tractor tires jugs with three x's banjo player it was all the same thing though so i yeah, i'm, I'm looking sure. for we are for my down there tractor and then that's how i became a banjo picker in the new elite band three x's on the jug ah so that's how i got yeah, in with them it was a very very specific um thing that they were looking for now i'm a they also to had, they, yeah they also had tractor tires for sale apparently yeah, i got a banjo tractor tires and a 25 album signed deal nope <laughs> <laughs> That'll happen. Every, that'll, that'll every happen. Every time. Every without, farmer. Without fail. Every time. Yeah. You're going to get a 25 album signed deal. Yeah. So, um, uh, oh, I man. can't just pause the recording on this one. So let's just keep yeah, going. Yeah, just go. Live. Maybe, um, yeah, maybe we talked earlier about doing the template. So maybe you've got your template and you're just running it every time a musician leaves and you got to be, <laughs> you know, you got to beef up the roster on the band. But, um, yeah, like, what about the old-fashioned way? Like, I'm just going to print off a bunch of flyers, and I'm just going to put them on every telephone post in town. <laughs> and hopefully somebody walking by is like, oh, oh maybe I'll read this. Maybe I'll tell tell a friend. Like, it's it's another way. It's not the be-all, end-all. I'm not saying just do one of these things. You should probably be, you know, spreading out your uh, spider webs, your, your feelers in as many directions as possible. Find as many people as possible, and then you get more options. Our, uh, the, the uh, saxophone player that we bring in for special projects, she had a posting on the Interlake store cork board. And I was, it's, this is actually funny because of the tractor tire. That was a joke. I was looking for winter tires for my car because they always post tires and things there. And like right next to the winter tires for my, my car, it was like saxophone player looking to jam with band, give call. And, I was going to say, that's also how I found Vimy Ridge was outside. I went to go get beer at Lone Butte, and outside on the board was a Vimy Ridge poster. Yeah. So the flyers, that's not an outdated idea. No, well, and not especially not for us, because um, just for a little bit of context, we live in a small town of about, what would you say the population is here? It's not much. Lone Butte, we got about 200 people in the area. Yeah. For here, and then you could you could go to Yeah, the surrounding area, maybe maybe we're thirty thousand tops, but like that's for the, yeah, for all the area. That that's in the summer when tourism's at its max. Yeah. Like, yeah, we're in a small town and it's fairly old fashioned. Like we only just got off dial up like a few years ago. He's not even kidding. That that was not some weird joke. Yeah, that no, was it's, that, it's, <laughs> it's a small town. It's hard it's hard to find the musicians. They're out there, but like I said, everybody just wants to play their PS fours now and Look at cats. Live, live under rocks, and yeah, they're, they're everybody's just staying home and expecting people to find them. You know, come <laughs> find them. Pick like we are. We are expecting to find you and pick you up, but you have to let us know. So yeah. let us know. I will drive out and get you. 
Well, well, it depends. Depends. Better if you have your own car. I'd rather you have your own car. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, with the starting thing we're like we were talking about the gas prices. Actually, with the gas prices, you should have your own vehicle. Yeah, yeah, or you, yeah, or be willing to. Uh, anyways, this is yeah. a this is a topic for another day. We can bitch about gas, gas prices anytime. It's like, the price of gas is skyrocketing. I'm so mad. Uh, anyways, yeah. So <laughs> we got um, yeah, the direct pick up the phone, give you a call, but yeah, we got to know you exist. Uh, what about like? I've never tried this, but like, what if we just like put together a radio ad? I mean, we got a studio, we could make it. And yeah, what if we were just like, hey, I'm, hey, I'm Cody and I'm here with Paul. We're picking up musicians looking to start projects. But I want to do one of those really bad radio ads. It's like, Sunday, 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 G Media, 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 Cody's Basement. Bring your own gear and beer, because Wild Paw's kicking down the door. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah, we should so do they, one yeah, I'll do one like that. <laughs> we can do that in post. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll get around to it. I don't know. It's an option. Uh, uh, yeah, but uh, that's... Uh, I don't know if you have some ideas. How, how do you reach out to musicians? How do you, how do you find them? Maybe you go out to a show. Carrier you know, pigeons. Carrier pigeons. <laughs> open mics. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, go to a go to a conference. Uh, just go in and go out into what's it called, Nam or something. I don't know. I don't live there. But yeah, I don't know. There's there's tons of ways. Uh, ask a friend who asks a friend who asks a friend. And that's not the most reliable way, but it's a way, it's a way. You know, I mean, use your imagination. Find out what works. Find those musicians. Don't sit there on your computer and expect they'll come to you because they, they you play won't. a lot of video games. <laughs> because they won't. Nobody is. Uh, no, nobody's going to do the work for you. You've got to do your own work. And I've said that before. We are. Most of us sitting there with. I, w- I was going to say a full tank of gas. Most of us are running on empty now. But yeah, most well, of us have at least ten dollars <laughs> for um, five liters of gas, which is. We'll, we'll buy gas when we get we'll to it. We'll talk about the gas in a minute. <laughs> we're, we're sitting there with our instruments and looking, and the ones of us that want to go out and do it, we're around. But what's happening is, uh, it's there's the ones that are really willing usually have some weird time constraint like i say i can uh, uh graveyards weekends but uh monday tuesday wednesday thursday i am into playing yeah and, and at any time so there there are they they do exist they do exist so anyways uh we're hitting the 12 minute mark here uh thanks for watching the video remember to comment down below with your thoughts how do you find a band Bye.